Hi everyone, I'm Jen Sheffer, Instructional Technology Specialist and Mobile Learning Coach for Burlington Public Schools. And in this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how students can now edit tables with Google Docs. So you can see here, I have a doc that has tables in it that I'm unable to view. And as a quick review, if I tap on the triple I menu and I tap on page preview, I will be able to see the tables, but I won't be able to type inside them. So what students have been doing uh, and teachers for in terms of workflow is saving files as PDFs and sharing them with students and students have been annotating them with Notability. Well, now there is an alternative and it's a very quick process. So I'm going to show you how to do that. If you tap on that edit pencil, you're going to be taken back into the page preview. And if you're working just with text in a Google Doc, this is going to be the simplest way uh, for your students to add text and actually edit a doc. So the steps are the following. You're going to tap on the triple I menu and then students will tap on share and export and then they're going to just simply tap on save as word so now this Google Doc is being converted into a word file so I could modify the header if I wanted to but I'm gonna go ahead and just jump right into the table and when I tap on it you'll notice my keyboard pops up and before I begin typing I can change the format of my responses I could make them bold I can change my font style, I could increase the size, and finally I could change the color, and I can begin typing. The artifact I found was a varsity letter, and so on and so forth. I can complete the entire assignment, whether it has tables or not. I can edit this entire doc, and when I am finished and I want to send it back to my teacher, I will tap on the triple I menu and you'll notice when I do that it says that office compatibility mode is enabled and that's what is allowing this to take place uh, but I want to send it back as a doc so my teacher can use the commenting feature so I'm going to tap on share and export and I'm going to tap on save as a Google Doc file it's going to convert it into uh, a doc file and it will open it will be in preview mode once it loads but we're going to tap on the triple I menu to see that those changes took place. I'm going to tap on page preview and you'll see there's the text in my table right there. So I can now send this to my teacher uh, in Google Classroom and they can take advantage of the commenting feature in Docs and this is a very simple process that I think you and your students are really going to enjoy. So. Thank you for watching. Please visit us in Help Desk if you have any questions, and I hope to work with you soon.